Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome on back to the channel and welcome to a brand new Let's Play that we are starting as of today. This is Parkasaurus. Now, Parkasaurus is like a theme park but for dinosaurs. Now, I've been watching the development of this game for quite a while. I think I seen the first trailer back in, uh, I think it was November, December last year. It's currently being developed by Wash Bear Studio, which is just a team of two people. So it's pretty impressive with what I've seen so far. The game looks pretty good. So I'm excited to jump in and have a look. I reached out to the developers and they were nice enough to give me a key so we can have a look at this game. Now it is extremely early access still. It was only launched into early access on the 25th of September. So we may encounter a few bugs and a few little problems like that but uh, I'm just excited to be able to get in and play. So, what do we got over here? We've got a new game, we've got a load game, we've got some options. We have a Steam Workshop that is coming soon, so that is pretty cool. I wonder what they're going to do with that, if you can morph your dinos or if you build exhibits and then you can share them. I'm not really too sure. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with that. We also have some stuff down here and it looks like they actually have a few different language options, which is pretty cool, especially with a game that's uh, so new. So uh, let's get started. We are going to do the tutorial. So this first episode may be a little bit lengthy and it may not be everyone's forte, but the developers did suggest that I do the tutorial first because there is a little bit of a learning curve here. So let's get started. We are going a new game. So we have a standard game. We can customize or we have a scenario. Now the scenario is currently locked, but that is all right. Let's go with the standard game. All right, so we just, okay, we can't move to any different islands. This is our island by the look of it. So we are going a new game. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like the little dinosaurs are flying to our planet and they've crash landed. Oh no. And this guy looks kind of happy. This one and this one kind of look a little bit worried. So let's see. Let's see what this is all about. All right, the park name. So this one is going to be called Stegomania. I think that looks pretty good. Let's confirm. Welcome. Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I will be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up our dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first, navigating around your park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. Alrighty, so what do we got here? Alright, so it says to hold down the right mouse button to pan the camera. Alrighty, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, I am using W, A, S, and D to cruise around as well. We can also use our scroll wheel to scroll out. And holy dooly, this park, oh my goodness. This looks like a really, really big park. This is gonna be, this is gonna be quite interesting when you have quite a large car park down here as well. Look how far it extends. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to play this. So we gotta pan our camera a few more times. So we're just gonna, just gonna do this. Just a little bit of a, a little bit of a roundy round around the place. Uh, <laughs> now, like I said, the, the tutorial isn't going to be the most thrilling part of this series, but it won't take us long to get started, I am sure. All right, we can use Q and E to rotate the camera. Sure, no worries. That seems straightforward enough. Good job. So we passed the first bit. Your first exhibit. Science officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we should set up an exhibit first. Exhibits are where your dinos live. You design exhibits to match your dino's needs and increase a dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dino. Select the wooden fence and build an exhibit. Alrighty. Okay, so it looks like it wants us to set up an exhibit over here. 
So we need a wooden fence. Alrighty. So just uh, place that guy down like so. And bring it right the way around. We don't want any escapees on our hands. Uh, is that done? Excellent. New exhibit. So now it needs a door. Sure, no worries. We will place a door, say, right there. Looks pretty good to me. Awesome stuff. So we now have a door and we now have an exhibit. Pax here. I piloted the crash ship on your planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins in a bin called donation boxes. Alrighty, so we need to get a donation box so we can get all the money. Oh, we got a whole heap of shops and things in here as well. Let's have a look. We got a donation box. Alright, might maybe place that right near the entrance where they walk in, I think. So, uh, where do they actually come in through? So, this looks like the gate here that they walk in. Um, maybe we might place one there. And I might actually place one on the other side as well. So, then there's no excuse for them not to, uh, not to donate money to us. Alright, <laughs> I wasn't quick enough. Dang it. Let's get your first dinosaur. This is very exciting for everyone involved. Let's go. We got a Stegosaurus or we got a Triceratops. I'm going to go with a Triceratops because a Triceratops is actually my favorite of all. So we have down our two money boxes now. So where are we going? Open your inventory. So this is it over here. Ah, look. So we got our little Triceratops egg. It says the tile needs to be grass. The biome is rainforest and the size is medium. All right, let's uh, select that guy and drop him down here excellent all right so we have our first little little dinosaur gonna hatch that is cool visiting town town is a great place to buy food accessories for your dinos or get loans you can visit town anytime during the day even at night time Alrighty, so, okay, looks like we're going up here for town. So we can click this or we can hit F2. So let's go up here. Ooh, we got vegetables, meat, eggs, hats. Uh, looks like the bank is currently closed. Uh, we've also got some gems. Alright, so it says get six vegetables for our little guys. Alright, so we need six of these. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we've got an ad daily here as well. Should I do that It so it brings us food constantly? It's probably not a bad idea. Maybe bring us six a day and then that way our Triceratops is always going to have plenty of food. All right, done. Let's head back to the park now. Yum, yum. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching a new dino feeders gives various bonuses to your dinos. Your dino is a vegetarian, so let's get a vegetarian feeder. Alrighty, so going over here. And we've got a little small meat feeder as well, which I'm guessing is probably for like T-Rexes and Raptors and things like that. And we have the small vegetarian feeder. Okay, so... I want to place this pretty close to the front so everyone can come see when they are eating. Drop that there. Awesome stuff. So we now have a feeder for our little dino. A little help. Caring for your dino best friend is a lot of work. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinos. Let's hire a veterinarian. Sure. All right. So it looks like we're going up here to the office. We're going to press F3 to get up there as well. Looks like we got a little window out into the park. We got a dino book here. Okay. So that's just going to tell us all the dinos and things that we have and the rewards that we get for actually having these dinos in the park. All right. Cool. We got park info. All right, so this is just our overview of everything that is going on, all the money we have earned, uh, how many happy dinos we have, how many super happy dinos we have, our visitors, our paid employees, all that jazz. All right, well, uh, got nothing to show here just yet. Let's uh, have a look in here. So we have some resumes. 
All right, and we are looking for a veterinarian. A veterinarian will refill food containers when they have access to exhibits with doors, heal and take care of our dinosaurs, and clean up the exhibits. All righty. So we have down here speed, ability, and personality. So I'm guessing these are going to be quite important. Let's have a look. See if we've got anyone a little bit better. All right, so it actually looks like... Looks like Hayes is probably the best. You're quite expensive, though. Ah, oh, they're all quite expensive. Hayes is by far the most expensive, though. Um, all right, Hayes, we're going to give you a go. Hopefully, you do a good job of looking after our dinosaurs. Let's hire you. So we have work ethic over here, and we can assign tasks for our employee to do or to not do. That's all right. We're going to get her to do everything right now. You are a jack of all trades. So what are we doing now? Oh, we gotta watch the vegetarian. <laughs> we gotta watch the veterinarian fill the feeder. Okay. Exhibit pain. The exhibit pain is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a particular biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile. Then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Alrighty. Well, it looks like if I click this, it looks like we're actually going to get our dino. So uh, I'm going to do that because I'm kind of impatient. Let's hatch that guy. Oh, look. Look, we got a little, we got a little triceratops. You are super cute and you are pink. Oh, my goodness. All right. So this guy is hungry. And privacy. Everything looks okay at the moment. We have social, so would like a little friend in here. That is okay. We will get that all sorted. Let's go over to info. So the grass, the tile needs to be grass. It would like a rainforest biome. Um, it's a boy. And if we look all the way down here, it actually says allow breeding. So at some point in time, they are going to be adding breeding to this game, which is amazing. Get a little camera over here. Enter Dino Cam. Oh my goodness, we can actually go with the dino. That is pretty cool. This guy seems kind of angry though. I don't know why you're angry. Maybe maybe uh, he's angry because we haven't actually um, done anything with his exhibit yet. So uh, let's do that. So we need to do some grass tiles down here. All right, sure. Now, this isn't going to be the park that we have forever either, though. I'm just doing the tutorial with you guys, and then we will actually build our own park completely. All right, so what do we need now? We need some water. All righty, going in here. Get some water. Don't really know how much of this stuff we're going to need, but we might maybe run some all the way along the fence line. I think that could be kind of cool. Let's do that. Oh, I must have finished my first day because <laughs> I was just placing down the water and then we got this. So we have our charts at the end of the day is a good time to look at all aspects of your park. And we have the hearts here. Hearts are rewarded at the end of each day for every dinosaur that is happy or super happy. Alrighty, so we got no money and we got... Uh, nothing here to really show. We did get a heart though, so that's kind of cool. All right, I'm just gonna, I gotta go back and finish placing my water. I, I haven't finished doing that. Let's uh, get back in here. We are doing this. We, we need to place enough water to make this into a rainforest biome. So we are there. We are at rainforest. Awesome stuff. Biodiversity. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's habitat score. Trees, bushes and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes often need to be near a water source. Alrighty, so we need to get some trees happening. Let's have a look. And he likes the look of these trees. Alrighty. They're not bad trees. Let's see. Um, maybe we might run some trees along the fence line here. I think that could look kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to go right the way along. I don't think I need this many. But I think it could look kind of cool. So let's just waste a little bit of money and chuck down some trees. Awesome. So we got some trees. 
Now we need some bushes. All right, might maybe scatter these out all over the enclosure because they, they don't look too bad, actually. They're kind of cute. All right, like so. Um, and now it's telling me we need some rocks. All righty, so this is a good rainforest rock. Can I place the rocks on the edge of the water? Uh, no, I can place the rocks in the water, though. That'll do. I'm happy with that. Don't mind having a few rocks in the water. That is okay. And uh, looks like we've completed that, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna. I was gonna say I'm gonna continue to place rocks, but uh, I can't because we got another quest. New quest. Let's go. We got a delivery has arrived at the front gate. That must be our food. Awesome. Open for business. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park at any point. Just remember, guests give donations and buy tickets. Fair cool. All right, so let's, I wanna check my package first. Ooh, get that, thank you. Give me all my food so it doesn't go yuck out there. I don't actually know if that's a thing. I don't know if the food would go yuck after a little while, but I'm assuming it would. All right, it's telling me here we can rotate by pressing R as well, so let's get that done. So that is done and open the park. So we gotta click on our little booth down here. We can also change the colors of this. That's pretty cool. All right, and go open park. Yeah, done. So the park is open. Look, our little dinosaur is actually cruising around in the water down there. He's pretty happy. I didn't actually see his name. I do believe all of these guys have names. So if you guys can think of any names, that, like cool names that we should name our dinosaurs, definitely chuck it in the comment section below and I'll rename them all. A janitor is a key member of your staff. A janitor can replace fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park, such as picking up garbage. Go to the office to hire a janitor. All right, you do bring up a fair point though. We actually don't have, look at all this trash everywhere. We actually don't have any garbage bins down. So maybe, Maybe we should place some garbage bins near our donation boxes. So if they bring any rubbish into our park, they can literally just throw it away. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. And we probably actually need a toilet as well. <laughs> um, don't want any um, little spills on our path at all. I don't want to be cleaning up poo. So there we go. We now have a toilet awesome stuff let's get a janitor going in here and we want a janitor so we'll find the best one so the best one is actually calyx here so we got a speed of 13 five is the ability it's only gonna cost us twenty dollars a day that is a bargain and you are going to pick up trash repair fences and clean bathrooms good job let's hire you awesome stuff now it is saying watch the janitor clean the garbage all right so run along do your little job there buddy can i do a camera view on you as well no i can watch you pick everything up pick the janitor up and move them click the janitor and grab the icon above their head all right stay still come here all right i got the janitor <laughs> i'm just gonna dump you in the middle of the park just because I'm cruel. So let's do that. There we go. Janitor is out in the scrub. <laughs> Customers, this has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park and make some money. All right, so we need five guests and we need to earn $30. All right, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be too hard. I did definitely open the park, didn't I? We are open. We definitely are open. That is cool, cool, cool. Let's have a look here. How's our little dino going? So we want some more social. So we need to go get another egg. I'm not really too sure. Can I just go to town and just go buy another egg? Let's have a look. What do we need for eggs? Uh, for a triceratops, we need some footprints. We need some skulls. And we need an imperfect gem. Ha! Huh. All right, well, we got none of that stuff right now. So we can't actually, um, 
we can't actually get you a little friend yet. I'm sorry. And this is Edgar. <laughs> Look at that, Edgar. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to leave that name as Edgar for now. That's pretty funny. Edgar the Triceratops. He is super cute. Now, is there anything else I need to do to this? So, his privacy is at 38%. Um, I wonder if I need a fixer, a pill. Um, his appeal is, is that a max of 220? I'm not too sure. Not sure at all. Security training. Nothing has ever gone wrong before in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me. All right, note to self, never trust someone that says, trust me, that is an untrustworthy thing to say. If you have to tell me to trust you, I can't trust you. So this guy, he's, he's telling us that things could potentially go wrong in our park. All right, just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of your dinosaur best friends decide to adventure out of their exhibit <laughs> learn to tranquilize a dinosaur alrighty let's do that so we need to go hire a security guard going in here and we want a security guard so gonna look for the best one again all right so this one here is possibly the best one well oh, hang on what do we got we got 13 3 um actually it's gonna be the 13 3 so we have tigius Tegius, I, I'm probably saying this all wrong. I do apologize. Um, not much personality, but that's all right. I don't mind if you're a bit dull. That is fine. And you are going to tranquilize all the dinosaurs that get loose. So let's hire you. Awesome. Click on our dinosaur and request a tranquilization. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you don't hurt our little... I hope you don't hurt Edgar. All right, so... Uh, Let's go request tranquilization. Could not reach dinosaur to tranquilize. Um, what? Why? Is my pathway not big enough, maybe? Um, I'm not sure. Can, uh, can you guys get in and out of this exhibit? Uh, maybe not. Maybe they're stuck in there. Let's... um. Let's go, let's flatten this out. Flatten this out a bit. Maybe I made the water too, too deep here. I didn't realize that uh, they couldn't get in and out of that. That should be okay now. Um, all right, so we need to tranquilize this guy. Well, don't you hurt my buddy. Don't you hurt him. All right, uh, security Tigus has been sent to tranquilize Edgar. All right, well, uh, what are you doing walking around the outside? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. It could actually be a he. I can't remember. Oh, wow. You're a really bad shot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if my dinosaur eats you after that, <laughs> after that effort. Uh, we are nearly there. Uh, oh, he's going to sleep. He's going to sleep. Click on your tranquilized dinosaur. All right. Oh, we get him in like a little cat cage. He's like a little carry-on now. I can take him with me. That's pretty cute. Um, let's have a look. Open your inventory and click your dinosaur crate and place it inside your exhibit. All right. So that is the end of day two. We got 239 donations and we sold $60 worth of tickets. All right. Awesome. Awesome stuff. We didn't get any hearts though. He wasn't very happy. And, ah, oh, look, they've got some, uh, some nasty stuff to stay over here. Stegomania, more like Boringville. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Edgar is a bit old news. Oh, my goodness. You guys. Um, the park is a bit dull. All right, these guys aren't very good with their reviews. They're, they're a bit nasty. So we gotta we gotta liven up our park a little bit more. Um, so let's go here. We gotta get you. Let's. Oh, okay. So this is like our little carrier. We just drop him down, I guess. And then Edgar is gonna get out of there. Good job. Awesome stuff. So that is another one done. Explore science. Let's explore the world of science. 
Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your park. The most common way to generate science credits is to have a scientist work at a science building or at a science presentation. Alrighty, so we need a we need to get a science building. Okay, let's uh, let's make some path and maybe run this along the way like so. Is that just going to delete that rubbish? It is not. We do have another parcel. Let's pick that guy up. Want to make sure that we have plenty of food for this guy. Now, demolish this thing here. Demolish the barrels. Yes, get rid of those. Thank you. And maybe we might put our science building at the end here. Uh, research station. Okay. So we can flip that guy around by pressing R. Earth a rotate. So, hmm. Maybe I might place it there. Yes. Pick up scientists. Pick up your scientists by selecting and using the icon. Scientist nodes are found on science buildings and presentations. Okay. Awesome. We need to go get a scientist. Let's see. Scientist is over here. And I'm going to look for the best one again. All right, so Lampton is the best one here with a speed of 15 and ability of 5. So they are going to find dinosaur footprints by walking around the park. When placed on a presentation booth, will provide science by teaching guests and can be used with the research lab to generate science. All right, let's hire you. You are quite expensive. You're $108 a day. Jeez. All right. Go back to our park and go find our scientists. So this, oh, come here. You need to come here and I need to place you on the node. Like so. Awesome stuff. He is now working on his science. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's working away. Good job, Lampton. He's already got nine science. That's pretty impressive. How are we going over here? Oh, your privacy meter is very, very low. Um, where did I see that? I think I seen that in tiles somewhere. Where are the tiles again? Um, here we go. We got some privacy tiles. Great expectations. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to go dig up skulls and footprints to be used in the egg store. Okay. Oh, you need to get some privacy for this guy first because he's kind of... He's kind of angry. Is there... I'm not too sure how I check how much uh, privacy this guy has. He's a little bit upset. So uh, let's maybe just place down some, some grass in here. Try and get this guy a little bit happier. Because I don't want him to be really sad and then go around and destroy everything. And like run loose and eat out eat our guests and things like that i mean he is a vegetarian so i'm fairly certain he wouldn't eat our guests but just in case oh look there we go his privacy meter is going up straight away he's just having a snooze in the long grass that is awesome and he's happy again yay happy little edgar now we are heading to the portal Use the portal to take a journey to unknown lands and dig up fossils and footprints. The easiest way possible. Maybe something will even follow you back home. That'd be pretty cool. So it's saying we can look for Stegosaurus or we can look for Ceratopsia. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get so many of these dinosaur names wrong. I do apologize. So we're just going to say... Kara. <laughs> so Stegos or Keras. Um, I guess we're going to go looking for Stegos. So open that portal time period. Select a time period below the portal to determine what dino part to dig. And then we have the scientist dig. Use your current scientist to dig for skulls and footprints. Each of your scientists has a unique dig type. Okay. So we're opening our portal. Awesome. Have an expedition team arrive at the dig site. Exploring takes a little bit of time, so explore your park and return later. 
Alrighty, we will do. So, what is going on over here? Edgar looks pretty happy. Our guests are pretty unhappy though, so... Maybe we need to get them some food. Uh, oh, we got some balloons. We can do that. They might be happy with uh, getting some balloons. I'm going to place it right at the end of the path. So they can't miss, they can't miss it. They're literally going to come straight down the path and see this guy straight away. I think, uh, think that's a pretty good place to put it. What else have we got here? We have some decorations. Ooh. Okay, cool. That's pretty. That's all awesome. We got some lights. Okay, maybe we might light up over near the the balloon shop uh, just to make it a little bit more eye-catching so no one misses out on getting a balloon. What else have we got in here? We should probably put down um, a food stall. So this sells cotton candy. Well, everyone loves cotton candy. Let's do that. Let's, let's place some... Uh, we don't want it that close to the toilet, though. That's <laughs> probably kind of gross. And we might also place down a dino dogs as well. I gotta demolish that thing that's in the way. Let's uh, get rid of you. Thank you very much. And I want to place down a dino dog stand so they can get some hot dogs and some fairy floss and some balloons now. So I think I think it's coming along pretty nicely. Um, I don't really... Maybe we could put down some benches. Some benches. Like I said, I'm not going to put a lot of effort into this world, though, because this is just our tutorial world. Like, we will uh, definitely start afresh once the tutorial is all finished. How are our dig site going? All right, they are still over there having a bit of a look around. Um, now, let's have a look at you. You're pretty happy. Uh, you still would like some more social? I'm about to go find you, buddy. I'm gonna try and go find an egg and bring it back here and hopefully we can hatch another one. And you need some more toys. Huh, I wonder, can I go buy a hat? Let's go see. Is, uh, uh, Draper Dinos hats? No, I can't, uh, dang it. I can't, Oh, hang on, oops, I just... I deleted something that I didn't mean to delete. So it doesn't look like I can buy any hats yet. We're going to have to go back here and we're going to have to add a few more of these again. Because I accidentally removed it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Alright. Portal, our expedition is ready. Awesome. Let's do this. We are going to dig. Ooh, alright. So Lampton has like a funny shape that he can dig out. And then I could only dig out one at a time. Alright, so maybe we might, um, how many you got? You got four. Alright, we'll, uh, go like this in the corners. Maybe that might be a good idea. Uh, maybe one in the center. Ooh, that looks pretty impressive. So we got a dino skull here. Got another one there. We got some footprints here. I don't know if it's better to get dino skulls or dino footprints, but either way, we need them both. So that is pretty cool. Got another one here, and uh, another one there. Awesome, looks like there should be, a... oops, I hit the wrong one, dang it. Looks like there should be another skull in there, and maybe another one here, amazing, and that is it. We are out of digs. We would need more scientists to be able to dig more. All right, let's uh, go to town and go buy an egg. Oops, we're at, at the end of another day. So we got 361 donations, which is pretty impressive. We got a tier reward for obviously going up into the next tier. Food and drink, we sold $125 worth. Merchandise was $110 and $85 in ticket sales. Excellent. What do you guys got to say now? Honestly, I just surfed my phone all day. Well, aren't you a sourpuss? <laughs> um, they're still not great, uh, great reviews, but uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, we, we'll we get there. We'll get there. This guy has actually given us four stars. They had my favorite dinosaur species. I named my first child after Edgar. So excited. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, uh, let's go to the store and we can hopefully uh, go buy an egg now. I really want to try Ceratops egg and we can. 
Let's create that gag. Burk, burk. We have a new little egg. Yay! Good job. All done. Let's go. Place this guy. Oops, hang on. No, we're doing something else now. Upgrade. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock science technologies such as new buildings, upgrades, and perks. Go to the science tree and unlock a science technology. Alrighty. Well, you know what? First, I'm gonna drop this little egg because we need a buddy for our little buddy. So let's drop you down. Excellent. And we've also got some more food that is here. Thank you very, very much. We will get straight on to making sure that is in our exhibit. And hopefully this little guy doesn't take too long to hatch. And it is another boy. All right, they might all be boys until they actually implement breeding. So we're going up here to science. And, all right, click down and hold to fill the beaker to unlock science. So it wants us to do a horticulturalist amateur up here. So we are going to get a box laurel, a box laurel corner, and a potted fern. All right, let's unlock that one. Awesome, good job. And we have some other stuff here as well. Uh, that is pretty cool. There's, there's actually a lot of stuff for us to learn. That is excellent, park professional. Well, I've taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There is so much more to explore, but you're on your own gaining park fame and becoming a great park manager from Ollie. Well, thank you, Ollie. So we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, we need to wait till 20 guests have visited our park. I also want to see what happens when this next dino does does actually um, hatch. Now, I'm guessing it is going to make this little guy a lot more happy. Like, because we like have the social and we have the enrichment. I'm not really too sure what the enrichment is yet. Can I learn something about dinosaur enrichment, I wonder? Hmm. Doesn't look like it's in here. Is it in the hearts? Uh, what do we got? We got a twirly. This is a classic. Oh, it's a twirly hat. Okay, so we actually got to... Uh, get the get the hats before we can actually go buy them. That makes sense. So we need five hearts for that. We currently only have two. So that is awesome though. We can also speed the time up by pressing T. If we press T, it's going to make our day go a bit quicker. Getting kind of impatient waiting for my little egg to hatch. Come on, I want to check you out. Oh, look at him racing around. <laughs> it's like super speed, Edgar. What have you been eating? Did someone give you too much sugar, buddy? It looks like you've had too much sugar. We should nearly be there. Come on, little buddy. I want to check you out. I want to see what you look like. I wonder if it's going to be another pink one. I'm not too sure. Uh, we will just have to wait and see. All right, we can hatch this guy. Slow time back down. Let's hatch you. Ooh, it is a pink one with black stripes. Why are you sad? Uh, oh, why are you sad? You're hungry. Um, maybe I need to go get some more food. All right, I've got heaps of food now. There should be plenty of food. Oh, uh, he just didn't know where the food trough was. I see what's going on. So this is actually June. So she's a little bit hungry. She doesn't really like the area very much at the moment, but uh, obviously she will uh, get used to it. And it is actually a female. So when I clicked on the egg, it told me it was going to be a boy, but it's actually a girl. So that is awesome. So we have a little boy and a little girl triceratops in our exhibit. This game is absolutely amazing. I am really enjoying it so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and make sure if you did that you click the subscribe button. If you are not already one of my subscribers, come join the gang of hunters. And if you liked it, make sure you also slap that like button. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me, but I think 
I'm actually gonna have to leave this episode here today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. And I hope to see you all again soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.